Monday morning, Morgan's just going to top up with diesel and just go and rip that corner up where that drain was acting up. And then I'm going to probably put the Claydon back on then. Ready for doing another little field of beans. There was too wet last week. Need sort of two bags of urea, so they're at Wellbrook, so I'm just going to go with the bucket and throw them in here so we don't have to mess around with the trailer. I just retrieved the bucket out of the field in case we drill it so it's not in the way. But we'll need it when we carry on draining up here. Let's do the rest up there. Just pulled over to answer the phone. Send someone a phone number. And there's Morgan on his way. Hi. 100% pure Cheshire flour from Nelstrop's ready for making a big loaf of bread. A ton on that pallet. Unscrewed it with these screws, flicked it out, blew it out with the airline. Feels a lot better now, not, not sticking anymore. On with flattening this field off now that I grubbed on Saturday morning. Let's get it flattened off, a little bit drier on the top then. Then Morgan's gonna drill it later on. Just gonna nip over there because the council are there having a look at these drains, see what they've found out. I'm oh, just on the field of sky fall I rolled yesterday. Quite pleased with how it's turned out to be honest. Apart from the wet patch. with them then so that obviously they're jetting the drains with the big yellow hose and squirting all the rubbish out and then they're putting the little buggy down with the camera on to look into the manholes to see where which way they go and which way they block we've gone in one and found tree roots so that's obviously what we think it's going to be so they're just going to work their way all the way around and try and go from the to the manhole that's bubbling up from the opposite direction but they've had to put a lane closure on the road to get the truck in so they're going to be on it today and tomorrow so hopefully they'll find out where the blockage is shoot through the roots then get rid of that water stop it going down the field then just flattening off this one now and then we're ready to drill it this is the one that we're going to redrain but obviously we've got rid of the water now it's actually started to bake so i'm just just negotiating around the telegraph poles just squeeze around that one there then off we go to the next put the gps back on I think I'll work to that end of the field. Give that side there where we're draining a little bit more to dry. Got my cruise control set for going up the field about 11k. Then click C1 for turning it 7.5k. You can see on the GPS screen the two bits where I went round the telegraph poles. Focus was it? I don't like to focus when the windows are dirty because it focuses on the dust of the window. It's loads drier this than it was the other day. There was puddles if you remember. By the looks of that sky, I think someone somewhere is getting rain. Luckily we're not. We're getting that sunshine. From that bit of blue. It's even got dust on the back. We got birthday cake. <laughs> no, we haven't. Ah, oh, cheers.
Thought you'd be man. lifting up a bit there. <laughs> I know, yeah. I just thought I'd flatten out with a digger had been running. Yeah, probably better. Yeah, that's still flowing, that drain now. Fold it up now, turn the steering off, turn that off, turn the auto differential lock off, and then head back to HQ. Get a quick shower and change, then off to a funeral. So remember I said, the guy that worked for us for 50 years, Dennis, it's his funeral this afternoon. So we're gonna head over to that. I'm trying to get in the shower, but they've left the tank filling for the moist, for the sprayer. So we all went to turn it off, but it squirts a bit of water when you turn it off. So she's got scared and ran off. Anyway, Morgan's, I've rung him and he's gonna do it, but I just need to jump in the shower. Otherwise I'm gonna be late for my funeral. So watch, you'll see what I mean. See it squirt now. That's it, the shower is now on. All showered with minutes to spare. Got me a grime or tire on. It's black tie. I might actually, uh, be, well, I will be coming there in May on my way down to the Devon show. So we've got to have another look around there. Last time I was at this crematorium, we were actually stopped on the combine run. Um, this funeral's great, it was a nice funeral. 50 years, youngest of seven siblings as well, and he outlived all his siblings. Um, and when he started working on the on the farm we had horses so things have changed a lot in his lifetime just kidding rob out with some merch while he's here you may know him from where is it your farm now rob uh over in north yorkshire in hartley's there Health you go Foot limited so he's got he's got his t-shirts his and mugs and hat um but with their back in stock ian said so we were just saying that if we have an earthquake <laughs> ian might get buried <laughs> So yeah, all the common size are backing because that's even full of t-shirts as well. Looks like Morgan's back. I couldn't quite finish the field I was on before. I had a headland left to do. So Morgan's just gone and done it. But it's now raining. See against the black of the shed. The wet tractor. And I'll quickly do the birthdays. I was going to get Rob to do the birthday bumper, but he doesn't watch enough to know what to do, so I'll do it myself. Anyway, we've got Greta Stiltz, I think it is, is 36, Jim Ellis is 53, Sarah Styles is 44, Steph Hates is on there, Donna French, Mark Holmes, um, the Holmes, I think for short, I think it said, uh, Nick Watkins and Rupert Woodley is 18, so Rupert was on, on the combine with us at the combine run when we went to Adam Henson's, so happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is today. I actually forgot to put Ian on as well, so happy birthday, Ian. I've been inundated with people sending me pictures of the Massey 1200 that sold for nearly, was it 69,000 or something, or 59,000 at the weekend at the Cheffins auction. Yes, this is still here, and yes, it does need doing up. It looks bad because it's green and mouldy, but underneath the red oxide someone's protected it with, it actually will be pretty decent. I'm hoping one of the colleges wants to do it up as a project, so either Reezy or Mayaska. And then obviously we've got the MB track that needs doing as well. But yeah, if anyone is at a college that wants to get in touch, uh, who can see the challenge, let me know anyway. I can buy the bits, just need the labour, but being honest, a lot of it's just sheet steel. Yesterday's quiz question was this. There you go. A few people got it right, a few people didn't. Today's quiz question is this. Let us know what you think it is in the comments. That's about all for today. Rob's chauffeuring me while I edit the video you've just watched. We're gonna go and see friend Jonathan. He's uh, moved from hospital now. He's in like a hospice care room kind of thing. I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, Preston Docks. So we're gonna go and take him at McDonald's or a KFC or something. So uh, Rob's booted it. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Got a bit of a race on here with uh, Morgan in the old Mitsubishi next to. Morgan the mullet. We're in the wrong lane, so we kind of got to get across. Go, 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 go. You'll get through there. 58. 58. Yeah. I've just arrived back at the yard and Someone's not gone to sleep, he's too busy watching what's going on in the yard as I've turned up. <laughs>